protect, preserve, perpetuate. Those terms in particular maintain our checks and balances for this practice. You know, we come from a, a background that is steeped in tradition. And, you know, when we decide to do something that is to honor our ancestors, then we have to do it to the best of our abilities. You know, when coming to receive work, people come in with an expectation of being able to pick something off the wall or have a bit of control in picking their design, but, you know, some things aren't meant for us to know. We have to be confident in what we know, but also in what we don't know. We have to be okay not knowing. We usually open it up with, you know, tell us a bit about yourself and your reasons for wanting to wear we. But based off of those conversations, you know, they reveal the essence of the individual, the substance of who they are as a person. When you go to see a doctor, and ultimately you'll be prescribed, sort of speak, you know, what is the best suited for, for you as a recipient. We kind of decide what would be the most appropriate and fitting for, for those individuals. When it's time to do, then we do. You know, there is no practice. We don't get to, you know, tattoo something in order to hone in our skills. We're always in tune to everything. The wind, the sounds, every person in the room. We have to be aware of those things because for us, those are all signs, those are all ho'ailona. Every hit is a hit of intention. Every mark is a mark of intention. The end result is a tattoo. That only scrapes the surface as to what the mana or the meaning is behind each wuhi. The substance of it all is everything that went in prior to that. Hours, years of being able to learn, sharpening the skills that are necessary in order to perform the work, making sure that the moons are appropriate for the work. All of that has to be done prior. We're responsible for placing the marks of genealogy on the individuals that decide to lay on this mat. I care deeply about this practice. How this tradition looks seven generations from now is what's important to me. Where we are as a people is important to me. Sometimes that means making tough decisions, but I don't make those decisions for myself. I'll make it for the next generation. You know, we have to hold true to the standards of our kupuna, of our ancestors. You know, the path is set already. So we have to be able to follow that path in order to honor those ancestors. Because if we don't do it, who will? I don't want to teach my kids about their culture from a museum.